another one. So this one says, too good to be true job offer. I recently applied to a job position as a quality assurance analyst and was just given an email stating I was hired. <laughs> However, I am suspicious of its legitimacy. And, oh, I got a three syllable word down. And I am wondering if I didn't do enough research with the company when I applied. They sent me interview questions to type into a document. I turned it in within a day. I did not speak to anyone, nor did they give, did they give me a bring home testing challenge like I had done with previous interviews. Not every company I applied to had one, but at least spoke to me in person or on a video call. But after only sending that, I got hired. I feel like it was way too easy and simple to be hired on that to be hired on the spot like that. I applied on LinkedIn and saw they have a good amount of employees, around 300 internationally, including two who live in the same city as me, and they do have ratings on Glassdoor. Should I be suspicious? That is an amazing question. Should you be suspicious? I would start off with yes. As a QA analyst, you should always be suspicious about everything. Everything. All right? Message. That's why I'm suspicious about boot camps. I'm suspicious about the mailman. I'm suspicious about Skim milk. I'm suspicious about vegetables. I am not suspicious about steak. I have I, 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 that. I'm not. All right. Anyways, not neither here nor there. Right. But you should definitely be suspicious about everything. Okay. Um, and the interview process does sound weird. So they sent me interview questions to type into a document. So here is the question. Right. Here is the question. What are they asking you to do? At the end of the day, what are they asking you to do? Are they asking you to cash some type of check? Are they asking you for money? What is it? Because, and I'll tell you a quick story, right? Put the timer up. Right, tell you a quick story. One of my friends from jujitsu, right? He went through a, um, he went, he, like, he, went through a scam, but he didn't actually fall for it, right? He got close to it, but he didn't, right? Because we started talking about like, mm, this doesn't seem right, right? But what, what they did was they said like, oh, you're going to need this equipment. We're going to send you a check that you can um, cash and, um, and then you can buy your equipment through this, through this website, right? Um, and I was, like, I was like, this sounds weird. Like, and then the check that they gave, it gave some school's name in New York. And the signature thing looked like it was like a, um, I don't know, it, it looked weird. Like it's like they typed in the, the amount, something like that. I, I don't know how this, how this actually was able to go. Like, I don't know how people are able to go through with this because if I was a bank, I'd be like, eh, what, what is this, right? But, but, um, so we, we, so then we are like, all right, stop, stop the process. Don't cash it, nothing like that. Ask, ask the people more questions, right? And then when you start asking questions, they started getting a little aggressive. You know, that's how those scammers do. They started getting aggressive. And they're like, um, yeah, are you going to do it or not? And all this crazy stuff, right? So keep that in mind. Um, so my question is, what are they asking you to do? And then continue with that story, right? What we, what we did was we looked up the picture. So I forgot if we did it on, on I think we did it on the phone, right? Because like when, you're, when, you're, when you're using Google... Um, you can do like a, a image search. And then we found that we found that image that the person had on their um, either Microsoft Teams profile or whatever the case may be. They had it on, um, like we found it on multiple LinkedIn profiles. So it was a fake, right? Um, so you, got, you definitely got to be careful. Very good question that like you got suspicious. Um, and so, so that's my question again. Like, what are they asking you to do? Because if they're asking you to um, cash a check, it's a red flag. 
So my question would be, all right, what equipment am I going to need? When am I going to get it? When do I start? All right. Um, because I don't know about Glassdoor, but anyway, I can create a LinkedIn profile. Um, and then I would try to reach out to the people who actually work in your, um, that you said there are two people who work in your area, right? I'll try to reach out to them to see what they say. Is it real? Is it fake? Um, you know, do you got to be a QA analyst. Like you're, you're a QA analyst. You're a QA tester. Do QA. Like that's your job. Like why do we not, um, I don't know. It's like sometimes when we, we, we turn our, we turn our minds off to, um, the things that we should know the most, right? Like, you're applying for a job as a QA analyst. It sounds suspicious. Why aren't you doing QA on the job on the job that you're trying to get? Why aren't you doing your due diligence? All right. So so that's 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 what I'm trying to say. That's that's my point. Like, do QA. Find out what they're asking you to do, right? And then you go from there. If they're asking you to do it for money, if they're asking you to cash a check, if they're asking you to um, do some crazy stuff, like then you know it's a scam and Report them if you can or move on. If they're going to send you a computer and your equipment and you're logging in and all that stuff, then that's different, right? So it does, it does sound shady because you didn't talk to anybody. Did you fill out like, ooh, did you fill out any HR papers? Did you give them your social? See, now, now the plot thickens. But yeah, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you got to do your due diligence. You have, you have to do QA on everything. I don't trust, but I do verify, right? And then after I verify, then maybe I trust. I, don't, I do not trust, but verify. I verify first. I write my test case. I run my, I execute my test case. And then I automate it, all right? My life is no different than the job that I do every single day. No different than the job I do every single day. All right. So that is that. Shout out to that. All right. Great question. And I'm happy you, I'm happy you picked up on it. And I'm happy you caught it. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to tap Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos. Enigmatic joke.